Hello all, this is Edwin Abrahamian with Ceratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about uh, Fibersim, namely how to resolve producibility issues by utilizing splices and darts. So we have a simple scale model here uh, with some geometry already created. I'm going to go ahead and boot up Fibersim really quick. And we'll take a look at uh, the laminate that's already created um, or determined and the rosette that we've already established. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to create four plots. So we'll go in here and punch in four and create new. As we do this, our step is uh, count is different. We want to essentially start at 10 and go in increments of 10. And then we want to switch over to our table view and change our orientation. So we want 0, 45, 90, and negative 45. We're going to put the OK here and run the producibility. So we want to look at plyos 1 and 2. For ply 1, you see that we do have red areas. That's basically telling us that the ply has exceeded our deformation limit. Uh, so it is not uh, conforming as we would like on the true surface. Uh, so what we want to do here is basically go in, modify the material width line, offset it, and then splice the ply in half. So we want to modify it, go to manufacturing, uh, preview our material width line, which is right here currently. We want to move that over to the center of the tool surface. And then generate that line. And now we want to use that line to um, splice our ply. So we can go here, splice ply, splice curve, select our curve, and splice our ply. So after we do this, we want to rerun the producibility. And you'll see that uh, for our ply 1B, uh, we have uh, good results. So the blue is telling us that this particular ply is uh, not under or experiencing any uh, considerable deformation and that it will lay up nicely on the tool surface. However, ply A, there are issues. So we want to go in and modify this and assign a new origin point. So the origin point is essentially the point in which you start your, uh, your layup. Uh, in this instance, we are doing a standard propagation. So you would um, start or place your thumb, um, I like to say, on the origin point and then propagate out as shown here in the diagram. Again, this is a standard propagation. In this instance, we want to change the origin. So where we're starting that layup. And once we do that and run the producibility, you'll see our results change. So in this particular case, changing the origin point or where we start did give us better results. Now for ply two, we want to play around with darts. So we do have some points in here already created. We want to go to modify this. And we want to go over to the additional geometry, darts, and create two new darts. So we want to have our base points and select our two points that we've already created. And generate the dart feature. And then same thing here, we can do create based on. Uh, select our base points. And we can generate our dart feature again. So you can see these two items are already linked automatically. After we do this, we can run our producibility. And you'll see that that red uh, area where you see considerable deformation has now been alleviated with these two um, Slit darts. Uh, so uh, in addition, you can also go to your darts and you can also see your two slit darts here uh, under manufacturing darts. So uh, we were able to uh, run a producibility on four plies, focus in on two of them, and then resolve any issues that we saw uh, by splicing a ply um, after we offset the width line and use that as the splice curve and also creating slit darts. So thank you for watching this video. Until next time, this was Edwin Abraham. Thank you.
Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.